I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. He's a strong guy, he's a strong guy. I knew he was going to come to the fight with a few rounds, so I know I had to be working to beat him. He's a good fighter. I tried to put a bit of effort in, so I kind of stepped back in the second round because I know I pushed hard to try and stop him in the first, but he's a strong guy. He held up strong to it, so I knew yeah, he's going to go for the, for the distance, but yeah, I know if I hit him, I'm going to hurt him. Because we were telling you to do some gumption. Just rest, but not, not rest, but pace myself. Yeah? Because I've always got them doubts about cardio. I've always got them doubts about cardio. Yeah. Them, them doubts about cardio. Yeah. So I always at some point when it when it kicks when it hits to me, it's kind of pace myself, pace myself. Yeah. Always been trying to do the second round. Yeah. I know yeah. you can't hurt me, man. Because the sponges didn't seem to hurt you. Like no, well, anytime you landed something, you always it just it was hard and strong. Yeah. I couldn't land any well, I landed a few clean, but I'm not Proper satin solid yeah, on him because yeah, yeah. he had a good. Well, when you did though, you could see his legs. Well, yeah, one, rubber. Of them, one of them shots, I remember caught the end of that knuckle. Yeah. Like, you got to know about that one because yeah, yeah. I caught you bang. That one, I caught you one. bang. Good fight. I'm prepared for this. Fighting is my life. I can knock this burger out with my fist, with my knee, with my kicks. The audience will like you on my fight because I always put pressure on my opponent. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's easy. Easy. Your opponent not really the standard that you was no, expecting, yeah. I think. No. no. Yeah. He did it good in the beginning. Yeah, he but there was one play and I wait 20 seconds and then. He went through. Yeah, then we go. The good boy. Ze raakt van hij kan je eruit snel gaan. Ja. Niks anders meer doen ja. dan stom. I dream the dream of times gone by. <laughs> Life worth living. I dream that love would never die. That's the thing that gets in. Now, <laughs> I have a leg. First round, stop limping. I'm going to take a walk, please. Fast one, okay? Very fast one, quick one. Everybody, you're right. Don't even get a shot on this beautiful woman first. I already did. <laughs> did I you? shot of her taking a shot of you. Did you? <laughs> 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 That's great, Jordan. You looked amazing, Did I go? I felt like I really, I felt, you know, I thought going out. I would feel, I really feel it, but I was scared of all that. I usually shoot myself, but yeah. I just, I don't know. I really like, usually, like, he's like jumping weight day before, but he like prepared for it. You know, I felt happy going out at ring round. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it. The last few fights, I've been really, you know, fight legends and stuff, don't you? And he's scared, but good man. Cheers. You did them knees good, didn't I? Oh, is it that? I'm fucking crying. How are you, man? Can we get. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Can I take a shower at least? Um, it's straight to the press conference. Straight like this? Yeah. Um, I'm funky. <laughs> You've knocked out the world three, three times K1 world champion, man. You're greater than him, man. You're bigger than that, man. We got that oh! Hey! Oh! Shower at least. Why? I'm gonna metal, I'm gonna ice the muscle that metal, the cold thing. Putain, putain, putain. Yeah, I got another one. Wow. Boom! Rashad, Tyrone looks fantastic. Rashad, he looks stupendous. That overhand right, Rashad, he had him just sprawled out. <laughs> He was just sprawled, Rashad. He was just gone. <laughs> you wanna go night night? You wanna go night night? <laughs> what it do, partner? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Mr. Telephone man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the press conference with us, okay? The press conference. Oh. Okay. Press okay. conference over here. Yeah, number 12. Yeah, it's just that room there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to give yeah. Sorry. And I'm sure that we are going to have a few questions for Mr. Tyrone Spong. Uh, representing uh, the Black Syrians, uh, they had a, a couple of bad losses. So uh, I know, I hope this uh, will uh, set them in a, in a winning mood. Um, yeah, a little bit, but I'm, I'm used to the pressure, you know. Um, people forget uh, I've been fighting for, like, when I was 14, 15. I see a big legend there from, from Amsterdam, Musi Gym. Um, our gym used to compete. I'm, I'm used to the pressure. From the age when I was 17, 18, I was fighting main events uh, already. Um, so for a long time, I, 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 I've been doing this, and uh, I'm used to it. So I deal with the pressure uh, very well. Oh, Glory is uh, by 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 far the, the biggest organization worldwide now, kickboxing wise. And uh, I think they're uh, um, you know just started out, but already the biggest. So I think it holds big things in the future for Glory, uh, especially as we uh, you know if all the fighters uh, fight hard, uh, exciting fights. And um, this is just the start, you know. So uh, I, I see big things for for Glory in the future. I did something uh, no no other fighter did in a long time uh, in kickboxing. Uh, I started at, as a middleweight and I'm fighting these heavyweights. I'm not that big myself, but still uh, I'm fighting them and I'm winning. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm building up my, my own legacy and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to expand that by doing uh, mixed martial arts, MMA and, and, and also uh, professional boxing. So, uh, you know, um, we'll see what happens in the future. Okay, thank you. And just one more thing. Who's next for you? I don't know. <laughs> just take it as it comes. I think, I think a steak. <laughs> <laughs> I focus uh, from fight to fight. Um, I was focusing on, on this fight. I had my fight. I won. I'm very happy. Um, I'm probably going to have an MMA fight next. And uh, like I said, I'm also busy with uh, with with professional boxing. Uh, my my uh, boxing coach is uh, the well-known Pedro Diaz, the trainer of Miguel Cotto and uh, Rigondio. Um, so you know we'll see. Um, but you know the winner of that fight, I, I would love to fight the winner of that fight, and then probably semi next.